Hi to all everyone we welcome my channel. Today we exploring the greatest man of the world political leader, Mr. Narendra Modi's inspiring life journey to the office of Prime Minister began in the bylanes of Vatnagar, a small town in North Gujarat's Mahana district. He was born on the 17th of September 1950, three years after India had gained its independence. This makes him the first Prime Minister to be born in independent India. Mr. Modi is the third child born to Damodadas Modi and Hiraba Modi. Mr. Modi comes from a family of humble origins and modest means. The entire family lived in a small single-story house which was a pro- Narendra Modi, the 14th and current Prime Minister of India, is a prominent political figure known for his charismatic leadership and impactful policies. Born on 17 September 1950, in Vadnagar, a small town in Gujarat. Modi's journey to the highest echelons of Indian politics is marked by determination, resilience, and a commitment to public service. Modi's early life was humble, and he ventured into the Rashtriya Swayamsevak. Sangh, RSS, a right-wing Hindu nationalist paramilitary volunteer organization, during his teenage years. His association with the RSS laid the foundation for his political career. Modi later joined the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, and quickly rose through the ranks due to his organizational skills and dedication. In 2001, Narendra Modi became the Chief Minister of Gujarat. His tenure in this role was marked by both accolades and controversies. The state witnessed significant economic development under his leadership, earning him praise for his pro-business approach and efforts to attract investments. However, the Gujarat riots of 2002, a communal and tragic event that occurred during his early tenure, drew widespread criticism with concerns about the handling of the situation. Despite the challenges, Modi's popularity grew, and he continued to be re-elected as the Chief Minister of Gujarat multiple times. In 2014, he led the BJP to a historic victory in the general elections and became the Prime Minister of India. His campaign centered around the promise of development, economic reforms, and good governance. As Prime Minister, Modi has implemented various initiatives, including Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Clean India Mission, Make in India, and the Goods and Services Tax, GST. His government has also focused on infrastructure development, financial inclusion, and social welfare programs. Approximately 40 feet by 12 feet, Narendra Modi's formative years taught him early tough lessons as he balanced his studies non-academic life to spare time to work at the family-owned tea stall as the family struggled to make ends meet. His school friends remember that as a child also he was very industrious and had an affinity for debates and a curiosity to read books. Schoolmates recollect how Mr. Modi used to spend many hours reading in the local library. As a child he was also fond of swimming, Mr. Modi's thoughts and dreams as a child were quite removed from how most children of his age thought. Perhaps it was the influence of Vatnagar which once used to be a vibrant center of Buddhist learning and spirituality many centuries ago. As a child also he always felt a strong urge to make a difference to society. He was highly influenced by the works of Swami Vivekananda which laid the foundation of his journey towards spiritualism and which inspired him to pursue the mission to fulfill Swamiji's dream of making India a Jagat Guru. At the age of 17 he left home to travel across India. For two years he travelled across the expansive landscape of India exploring various cultures. When he returned home he was a changed man with a clear aim of what he wanted to achieve in life. He went to Ahmedabad and joined Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sang, RSS. RSS is a socio-cultural organisation working towards the social and cultural regeneration of India. It was a tough routine for Narendra Modi in Ahmedabad since 1972 when he became a Pracharak for RSS. His day began at 5 a.m. and went on till late night. Late 1970s also saw a young Narendra Modi join the movement to restore democracy in India which was reeling under emergency. 
While continuing to shoulder different responsibilities within the Sangh during the 1980s, Narendra Modi emerged as an organizer exemplar with his organizing skills. In 1987, a different chapter began in the life of Mr. Modi when he started work as the General Secretary of the BJP in Gujarat. In his first task, Mr. Modi won a victory for the BJP in Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation elections for the first time ever. He also ensured that the BJP was a close second to the Congress in the 1990 Gujarat Assembly elections. In the 1995 Assembly elections Mr Modi's organizational skills ensured the BJP's vote share increased and the party won 121 seats in the Assembly. Mr Modi worked as the National Secretary of BJP from 1995 looking after party's activities in Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. As BJP's General Secretary organization, he worked to ensure the BJP won the 1998 Lok Sabha elections. It was in September 2001 that Mr Modi received a phone call from then Prime Minister Vajpayee, which opened a new chapter in his life taking him from the rough and tumble of organizational politics to the world of governance. Economic Reforms Modi's government initiated economic reforms to boost growth and development. The introduction of the goods and services tax GST, aimed at simplifying the taxation system, and demonetization, in 2016 aimed at curbing black money, were some of the bold economic measures taken. Infrastructure Development The government launched various infrastructure projects, including the Swatch Bharat Abhayan. Clean India Mission, the Pradhan Mantri was Yajana. Housing for All, and the Smart Cities Mission, to enhance urban infrastructure. Digital India, Modi emphasized the importance of technology and digital initiatives. The Digital India campaign aimed at promoting the use of technology to connect rural areas with high-speed internet networks and improve digital literacy. Foreign policy, Modi's foreign policy focused on strengthening India's global position. He engaged in diplomatic initiatives, strengthening ties with various nations and fostering economic cooperation. His visits to countries like the United States, Japan and Israel were notable in this regard. Social welfare schemes, the government introduced several social welfare Schemes such as the Pradhan Mantri Jan Dan Yojana. Financial inclusion, Pradhan Mantri Ajwala Yojana. LPG gas connections for the poor. And Ayushman Bharat, health insurance for vulnerable families. National security, there was an increased emphasis on national security. With policies addressing border tensions and counter-terrorism measures. The surgical strikes in 2016 and the airstrike in Balakot in 2019 were notable events during Modi's tenure.